What is up guys, thanks for joining me again today, we are going to be doing some test hands for Ventreds, this time going second, this is pretty much the whole intention of this deck anyway, I built it to purely go for offense and completely discard the notion of defense, by doing so we could maximize the potential of actually our offensive movesets, so because of that, this deck will hopefully do a lot better in this particular video given that we are focusing on going second. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like, share, comment and subscribe and also hit that bell notification too. With that out of the way, let's begin. Alright, so here's our opening hand. We are obviously trying to go for an OTK, so to draw into the court by the grave, really nice if your opponent tries to disrupt you using their hand traps, you pretty much have an answer to that, very nice indeed. So let's see what we actually have over here, we have a pre-prep, definitely very powerful of course, allowing you to add your re-origin and your slayer, fantastic. So that pretty much gives us something that's already uh, pretty much ready to be used right away but we also have this as well but i'm thinking let's just reuse the spell card so we're going to begin by going with the re-origin or in this particular case just the origin so what are we going to use it with to actually summon out the slayer well the amazing thing is at least with this one here you can actually exceed the level to summon out whatever you want so in this case we'll just use our stridges and we'll use our mizuki as well at least that's actually really nice but we could summon out the Slayer. Now, here's an interesting thing. Because our deck actually, or our opening hand here, doesn't have anything that would normal summon anyway, you could actually normal summon out the Stridges first, then use it as a ritual summon monster. Now, this is obviously a very specific effect, and it costs us our normal summon if we do this, but you do actually get something out of this. If this card was actually used as a ritual summon, uh, material while it's on the field instead of in the hand it gives your slayer this particular effect after damage calculation if it battles a monster you can just draw a card and then discard a card that's a great bonus for the actual deck itself so why not go for that it's not like we have anything here anyway so who cares right so with that being said this is pretty much just going and this now has that powerful effect now the other amazing thing is that when Stridges is actually sent to the graveyard, you can also just reveal one Vendred card. Fortunately, we do have the extra Slay in the hand, so we're going to reveal it to the opponent, and we get to summon this out for free, with no cost whatsoever. It just gets banished when it leaves the field for this particular effect. So that is definitely amazing, giving us potential more materials to go for our ritual summons. However, with that being said, we do have over here a preparation of rights, so we can add whatever we want. In this case, maybe we could go for the Battle Lord. That's not too bad of an option, though keep in mind this is only a level 7. Stridges and Slayer adds up to 8, and when we actually use... Uh, well, actually, no, we can actually exceed if we actually want to. I mean, that's not too bad of an option. It is up to us in this case. Well, let's actually see here. We're going to bring this back anyway, so it's up to Battle Lord or Executor. So it's really up to you what you actually want to do here, but I guess in this case, since Preparation of Rights only gives you the option to add a level 7, we're just going to get the Battle Lord, but at least we get our Origin back to the hand anyway. Keep in mind, this is not a hard one per turn, so the amazing thing is at least we could reuse this once more. So we're just going to activate it, and we're going to get rid of the Slayer as well as the Stridges. This time the Stridges will actually get banished, and we simply just give the, well, we just sim simply just summon out our Battle Lord. So that's really amazing. Uh, maybe we'll just keep it. Now, unfortunately, Stridges is a hard once per turn, so it can't give the effect to Battle Lord. But you know what? That's fine. It's not like it's a big deal anyway. 
Essentially, we're using Battle Lord's effect, allowing us to banish off one Vendred card. We're going to banish off the Slayer in this case, and this will pretty much allow us to then uh, just lock out your opponent, either monsters, spells, or traps, so it's up to you. The reason why I want to keep Origin in the grave is because it has a graveyard effect. If your Slayer would be destroyed by battle, you could just, uh, well, or card effect as well, you could just banish this card from your grave to protect it. Very powerful, of course, but you're attacking with these two, very powerful. Keep in mind, if you're attacking a monster, the Slayer can then just also ditch off one of your Ventred cards to the graveyard. Keep in mind, your Ventred monsters, or at least the non-rituals in the deck, can actually have their own effects in the graveyard as well. So that's going to be beneficial in a way. And keep in mind, you do have Yamizuki as a potential, I guess, uh, follow-up play on that. So that's fantastic. Now, the interesting thing is this. Instead of using the Slayer from the hand, you could use Origin to actually just trip it off this particular Slayer, getting rid of it, and instead of using Stridges to give its effects to this, you can use Stridges to give its effects to that instead. So that way you save it from putting it onto the first one. In which case, you could actually just bring this back anyway, because it was properly Ritual Summoned. So you simply just banish off the Mizuki, and you bring this back. So in this particular sense, it does save you the extra Slayer in the hand, which is fantastic. But Battle Lord will have to banish off Origin if it wants to do anything. But it makes Mizuki a lot more usable in this particular sense. Oh uh, wow, this is uh, definitely very different. A lot of monsters. But I think we could still try to work out with this. I mean, I think it's possible. Uh, we do have here the Mizuki, which is probably the least usable of them all. Well, actually, no, maybe not. Let's just go with the preparation of rights, or pre-prep in this case. Add our same cards, obviously. That's still fine. Unfortunately, we didn't get a preparation of rights, but you know what? It's fine. One ritual summon will definitely do the job. So, in this case, you do have something to potentially normal summon, so it is up to you what you want to do. I mean, you could actually use a lot of these, summon these out, give the effect a Slayer, making it very powerful. So, if this one was used, you could allow, um, as a quick effect, for your Slayer to target a spell trap your opponent controls, and then banish it. And that's also a quick effect as well, so that's not bad. We could also use this one, which in this case, it allows your Slayer to, as a quick effect, banish one of your opponent's special summon monsters. That's also really powerful. Or you have over here Stridges, which is after the battle, of course. You could then draw a card and discard. Since this is a bit more of a passive effect, as opposed to something more active, I'm not going to summon this. But I will actually summon out the Revenants. I think this one is definitely the best one of all because it's very unlikely the opponent will have a spell trap if they do then sure you could go for this but i'm gonna go for the revenants so we're just gonna go with that so we just normal summon out our revenants and essentially what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna uh, use the origin activate it get rid of revenants which we could bring out slayer and we'll also discard let's see here what can we go for Maybe I'll go with probably not the Hound Lord. I mean, I'm thinking the best choice would be to get rid of our Stridges. That would actually be quite all right. Uh, because in this particular case, or well, maybe we could actually go for the Mizuki. Uh, that is also definitely an option as well. Though the thing is this, let's say instead of sending off Revenants, I uh, actually go with Hound Lord. Get rid of that to the graveyard and also get rid of the Mizuki to bring out Slayer. We could then tri well, trigger off the um, Hound Horde. So now that it's actually been sent to the graveyard, you discard one of your Vendred cards and you special summon this. It just gets banished. So you discard your Stridges, bring out Hound Horde. However, Stridges was just sent to the graveyard. So if that was sent to the grave, you get to reveal a Vendred from your hand, reveal the Revenants and you get to special summon this. It just gets banished once it actually leaves the field. 
So that is definitely very interesting of course, and this of course can still banish off something. However, let's say we actually did uh, save up our actual uh, effects and we didn't normal summon something. Obviously I'm making a lot of alternative plays here, so should try to follow along, but we're going to banish off these two, and uh, they get banished of course, but we could actually just go for the Sucker. You could also go for the Avendred Savior, keep in mind this is a very offensive card as well, fantastic choice. But what's amazing is, let's say we actually had um, the Revenants, right, and we didn't waste our normal summon, we could actually just normal summon this afterwards, and uh, just do a few other plays afterwards as well. For example, we could take the Monster Reborn, bring back the Mizuki, and then uh, link these two off, allowing us to go for our Ip Mascarina. Uh, we could also go for the Avendred Savior, of course, but that's uh, after using Mizuki, uh, Monster Reborn, we could then banish off Mizuki, bring back the Revenants, and then Sucker will allow us to draw a card. So let's shuffle our deck. And now we draw a card off Sucker. Since a zombie was special summon, we get Battle Lord. That's okay, it's just extra resources, works out anyway. Uh, but this is essentially your field, very powerful. Keep in mind, it Mascarina can easily just use it together with the Revenants. And we could pretty much just uh, continue to climb up, go into a Unicorn. What's amazing about Unicorn is you just discard your Battle Lord and then you spin one card as well. Very powerful. You attack with these, uh, it's just a really nice move there so yeah that's definitely um, something that's obviously going to be a little bit confusing given that I did uh, alter certain plays at times uh, but that's just to try and show off every single alternative that was possible with this particular opening hand so hopefully that wasn't too confusing Alright, so here's a very different opening hand, a lot more of the generic side of things. We could easily start off with the zombie world. We have Called by the Grave as protection, but we have here our Shurinui Solitaire, allowing us to pretty much just uh, start us off, get rid of it, go for our Uni Zombie, and from that, what's powerful is that Uni Zombie's effect allows us to then discard something from the deck itself. In this case, we already have Zombie World, no need for Banshee. So, what do we discard? We just simply get rid of Clock Bloom. Very powerful, banish that, summon out our Balladrock. We have a Free Negate, very powerful indeed. You could also discard the, um, I guess in this case, if you wanted to discard Gozuki, that would be an option. Banish off Solitaire, summon out one of your monsters. Doesn't really do too much, to be honest. So. If you discarded Mizuki, you can then special summon out Solitaire by banishing off the Mizuki. But it still doesn't compare to bringing out a Balladrock. Very powerful, and uh, this is honestly so much better. So, with that being said, Zombie World or Uni Zombie is now a level 4. But with that being said, we still do have uh, all of these here. So, it's up to you what you want to do. Maybe I'll discard the Battle Lord and summon out our Jack of Bolan. But uh, this is essentially your attack here. Very nice, very powerful. And it's just really effective because as a follow up play, you still have the Cord by the Grave to work. You have a Uni Zombie for the next turn. And even then, Balladrock on the field. Very powerful. Zombie World, quite a lock. And if you wanted to, you could take Jack of Bolan and the Uni Zombie, link them away in the main phase too. That is a potential option as well. In fact, you don't even have to do that. You just keep Jack of Bolan out like this, attack with all of these. Let's move on to main phase two. Take Uni Zombie and the Balladrock, link them away, go for your sucker, set your Court by the Grave. On the following turn, during your opponent's standby phase, simply just uh, bring back the Balladrock. By its own effect, Sucker's effect activates, allowing us to then draw a card. So let's shuffle our deck. And now let's draw a card. And we have another Uni Zombie. Not the best, but I guess we can't really complain. 
I mean, you can just summon out one Yuna zombie, ditch off the other, ditch off a Mizuki, Mizuki banishes, summoning out the one from the graveyard, it's like an extra spare, not too bad whatsoever, but even so, drawing one resource, one extra card, still very nice. Jacko Bolan still could work out really well because it could switch out with any of these cards from the grave as well, except for this because it wasn't ritual summoned properly yet, but it gives you plenty of options available and uh, you still have this too. So very nice, um, both offensively, but for some reason, we also have a nice fallback option on the following turn. However, that was pretty much it for today's video, so I do hope you guys actually enjoyed this. We're gonna be moving on to a new deck next time, so maybe we might be doing something that is still a zombie deck, maybe not, who knows. But until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.